Hello, it's Friday, August 26, 2016. I'm Matt Armstrong, filling in for Taylor Balgum, and this is your Catch Can Daily News Weekly Recap. Most of Deer Mountain would be logged under a plan approved by the Alaska Mental Health Trust this week. The Board of Trustees voted on Wednesday to move forward with plans to log more than 900 acres of trust land covering the Ketchikan landmark next year. However, the timber sale wouldn't take place if Congress approves a land exchange between the Trust and the U.S. Forest Service. The Trust and the state have been pushing for an exchange of 18,000 acres for more than a decade. A small dog was pulled from the Tongass Narrows this week by Taquan Air Pilot Mike Hudgens. Misty, who had jumped from her owner's boat earlier that day, was spotted and recovered by Hudgens after he finished a flight seeing tour. Misty was reunited with her owners, Sean and Angela Inlow, on Sunday. In local sports, the Ketchikan High School football team takes on rival Juno Douglas in a non-conference matchup Saturday at 1 p.m. at Esther Shea Field. The Kings are 2-0 after wins against Seward and Reddington, while the Crimson Bears are 0-2 with losses to Thunder Mountain and Kodiak. Despite the opposite records, Kings head coach Jim Byron said Thursday that his team isn't taking Juno Douglas lightly. K-High has never bested the Bears on the gridiron. Also on Saturday, the K-High cross-country team has its first meet of the season at noon at Ward Lake. That's it! Check out the waterfront for a commercial salmon season update, and in the scene, a look at the first Main Street Gallery show of the 2016-2017 season with local weaver Kathy Russo. Here's your photo of the week. This has been Matt Armstrong with the Ketchikan Daily News Weekly Recap. Have a good weekend. Thank you.